Yeah, all right, I'm coming up. Don't sit, here. Up here. Don't sit on this thing, you'll break it. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We get to fight at 11. Pull my hands. Put it back in my hands. Yeah, that's us. Kicks, you need to make sure you talk to each other and have decided what you're doing. Okay? <laughs> um, you already got two fights. Drew, I guess Drew, you want to hunt all two? This centerpiece is referred to as a coat of plates typically. There's a variety of names for a variety of versions that were found throughout the all over the place. But it's all steel plates underneath that. Uh, D D players, this is what a uh, brigadine would be, or uh, things like that. So Next up on the suit of armor. So we got Drew here. So Drew's armor, you'll notice the knees, they're not hinged and connected together. 
They're basically just, there's a, they're tied and mounted. It's referred to articulated versus floating. Um, and same with his elbows and such. And you also see he has the fabric and plate mixed. So his kit's more from a 1340 to around 1370 time frame. They pretty much stopped using the brig limbs and things like that because it doesn't take an impact as well. And also the prevalence of weaponry. Weaponry gets more advanced and more powerful and effective. You gotta go to heavier plate. So on and so forth as it all evolves. What he's wearing is referred to as a clap visor. It's a style of bassinet. Um, I like to say it's called a clap visor because it claps when it slaps down on your face. But There's it's not reason. really why it's called a clap There's visor. A um, that's the generic design of his suit of armor and the concepts of that. And then we have Christine coming around the corner. It's a very unique and different suit of armor from everybody else. So Christine's suit of armor is actually from, it's actually slightly debatable where all, the total time frame. But typically, the most documentable, easy to identify is from 1490. But it's instead of being Europe and England and France and all those places, uh, but plat visors were predominant in Germany, by the way. Sorry about that reference. She's wearing a suit of armor that would be typically found in the steppe warrior nomads and stuff like that. So the Mongols, the Timurids, all those types of groups. So her suit of armor has flappies. Uh, uh, the arm piece is a Vazabond um, style of design, how that works. Still has a floating knee. They use brick, brick thighs like the other things do. And then like, her helm is referred to as a Wawel helm. A Wawel helm was, there's a, a bunch of those found in several of the cities that were conquered by, Pol uh, by steppe nomads in Polish region and such. So it's a pretty stylized, neat suit of armor and the way it looks and all those kind of things. So, we're gonna show you a couple of the varieties of armor that we have today that are gonna be out here. And now we're gonna start up some of the fights. Who is doing it first? person five times first wins. That's the winner of the first round. Well, two out of three. All right, fighters ready? Fight! Yeah, five, four. 
Okay, cool. First round goes to Reed. Next fight. Next round. Fight. First card. <laughs> All right, so we got Drew over in the right in the maroon. So we got Mike in the red and black. All right, fighters, are you ready? Flirt with this man. Yes, flirt with me. I'm so loose right now. What? I don't think any of us are. I don't think any of us are other than me. I don't know how to flirt with you. No, me neither.
for education and entertainment, or not.